Welcome to Console and Control Gaming, I'm Late to the Gamer, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to completely fill your cargo warehouse for free. While the new Grand Theft Auto Online update San Andreas Mercenaries finally brought some much needed updates to your hangar business, I'm going to show you how to make the easiest money with your warehouse. My motto when I play GTA is not to leave any money on the table. So while you're out grinding other businesses and doing the Cayo Perico heist, Making a couple of detours a day could net you some free money, and in the long run, it'll cost you only about $37,500. Not including, of course, the price of the warehouses. Now, most of us do know how long and how costly it is to fill your warehouses. 37 trips per warehouse using the three crate method. That's 185 trips for five warehouses and $3.33 million spent up front. But there's an alternative that's not only cheaper and less time consuming, but will actually earn you money while you're doing other things. I'm talking about your warehouse assistants. Hola. What's up, homie? Sure, if you wake up on a Thursday and find out the weekly update includes bonus money on warehouse sales and you're not prepared, then this will not work for you. But we only get those a few times a year, and it's been months, so another's due any time now. While most people will tell you that sending your assistants to go out and fill your warehouse every 48 minutes actually cost you more, I did all the math and tried it myself, and the results were interesting. On average, we get bonus money on warehouses about three times a year, which means you can almost completely ignore your warehouses and still reap the benefits of this by the time the next bonus comes around. A couple of months ago, I got curious, and I really wanted to see how effective or ineffective it truly was to send your warehouse workers out instead of grinding the resource missions and came up to a simple conclusion. Relying on your workers offers the biggest profit for the business. Now check this out. One loop to five large warehouses costs $37,500 to send all five workers every 48 minutes in real time. But after you begin to stock your warehouses, every 48 minutes you can also do an extremely easy mission where you drive a truck for four minutes for $50,000. In a breakdown of my experience, it took 75 loops before I filled one warehouse to its capacity, but three additional warehouses were only one crate away from being full. So right now we're comparing comparing 185 collect missions to 75 visits to all your warehouses, something that only takes a couple of moments on an oppressor mark too. What's even better is at this point, my workers picked up extra crates of special cargo. So you're actually going to get chances to grab three crates and a unique cargo, which is just more free money. In the end, I spent $2,962,000 filling up my warehouses to the max. Then I got a rebate of $470,000 from unique cargo sales, bringing the total money I spent down to $2,492,500. In other words, instead of spending $6,000 per crate using the three crate method, I paid $4,491 per crate instead. And that's before factoring in the $50,000 I earned by making a simple delivery every time I started my loop. Factoring in the delivery, I made $3.75 million until my first warehouse was full. Then, I only needed to send my workers an additional 16 times, costing me 150 k but earning me an additional $800,000 with deliveries. So in the end, using this method literally cost me nothing. And in fact, it earned me $2,057,500 to get all five of my warehouses full. And the beauty is, with the amount of time between bonus money on warehouses, you can do this once or twice a day, earn a little extra money, and get 100% profit from your sales. But that's enough GTA math today. I'm late to the gamer. I hope you learned a little something, and I'll see you guys next time.